This afternoon, the effect a school threat has had on a Bay Area family. Bobby Witt says her son is not going back to Tarpon Springs Middle School. Eight under sides, Chip Wasowski is live now from the school with details on what happened here. Chip. Josh Witt tells me her son won't be boarding any of these buses anytime soon. Yesterday, police arrested a 12-year-old student accusing him of threatening to shoot up several other students. Witt says her son was one of them. My son was still on a list that he sat next to the kid that the, the kid leaned over and said, you're going to be number one. When Bobby Witt heard about the threat here at Tarpon Springs Middle, her heart sank. It took her back to September of 2015 when David Rings murdered his wife Teresa in Ohio. Teresa was Bobby's sister. That's why she doesn't take threats lightly. I'm not willing to have a risk assessment, put my my child and and put faith in it. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. That's not okay. I couldn't be an advocate for my sister, but I'll be an advocate for my son. The school threats seem to be happening on a regular basis. On Wednesday, deputies put the cuffs on a 12-year-old student in Pasco County accused of making threats aimed towards Cypress Creek Middle School. Superintendent Kurt Browning telling me enough is enough. And they are literally facing a second-degree felony. And if they don't think that even if you go through some diversion program that it's not going to stick with you, it sticks with you. And Witt tells me she plans to try and enroll her son in another public middle school. If that doesn't work out, she's going to go the private school route. Reporting live in Tarpon Springs, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.